Now the box opening of another minion. Okay. This is supposed to be like a DJ, actually. And it does say Universal Studios on it. So, we're going to see how we put this thing together. Instructions. Instructions are always important. And a bag. And that's it. So, we're going to have ourselves a Minion DJ. That's right. Is it going to stand up there? Probably not. Okay, right, whatever. Alright, instructions. I'll do that. This is the end result. Okay. Now the instructions look quite clear. Like there's no lettering on Like they tell you what the parts are and everything. But they don't show you stupid diagrams like in my last video for putting them together a solar cell kit that I couldn't get to work because the... Anyway, you'll have to watch the video. But this one looks extremely easy for a child to put together. Now, what's the year frame on this or anything like that? I don't freaking know. Usually, it'll tell you that the... Uh, right, it says right here, for ages five plus. So, we're gonna use these instructions to put this together. Remember, little parts are difficult. Don't lose them. Where's my scissors? Okay, so here we go. Opening the bag. No problem. Put everything on the table. Okay, so drop the part. Here's all our little toys. And here's our destructions. Oh, we're missing something here. It's in a minion. We can't do this without the minion. The minion's offering. Put this minion in here, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now we somehow. All right. All right, there we go. We have the minion. Now, what's interesting about the minion in this particular case, Mr. Minion Boy, girl, I don't know what are minions, are they boys or girls? Is that in the instructions. In the instructions on the very first page it shows you how to put your minion together but your minion is already together to begin with so as for the instructions and it tells you all the parts you have and all the parts you're gonna need but it also shows you like I said but the minions already put together oh well Big write up, don't know, don't care. It's not in to do with instructions. So, we're gonna go to page one. We're gonna go to page one. And I got a minion pulling up number one. So, very first thing we need is a block. Okay, this block right here. That block right there. With eight little spots on it. That's the one we're going to use. That spot there. And we need one of those little green round things. And we need a black one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we need. Oh, uh, are they all this way? I don't know. Okay, we need a black one. Like this. Okay, now we're going to take these two things and it says in the diagram that one's red, one's green, whatever kind of thing. But they got the green going on the red and, and the black one going on, on the green. So I, I don't, but there are no duties on here. So forget the color codes because the color codes don't work. You don't have them. Okay, so we don't want the surrounding music thingy. We don't want the... the LP, we want the one without it. 
and we're going to put one on one side, apparently, and just snap them in place, like that. So there's one. There's little edges and ridges on this thing, so if they snap in a place properly, there's a ridge on it right here. There, there's four little ridges. You just have to like screw them around into the right place, and then they should snap in place, just like that. Okay, so that's one done. Now we're gonna go on to number two. That's right. These instructions are extremely easy, so I can see a five-year-old reading this and putting this together, no problem. We want the long piece right here, and we want one little teeny weeny piece right here. Actually, we want two of these teeny weeny pieces right here. Now, like I said, again, they have color codes on here, but there's no color codes on it at all. So I, I, I don't know what's with the color codes. So these are supposed to probably be your legs. I'm gonna take this, put one on either side. They're Legos. Everybody knows how to do Legos. Legos are your friend. Just like that. So that's instruction number two. We got it all made. We got this thing put together. We got this. We got this. A minion. Like seriously. It's already put. Where's the fun in putting this thing together if you can't put the minion together? And no, I'm not getting paid for this. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is take our piece we've already put together. We're gonna grab one of these and another one of these. Now we skip the first we skip we skip the first one and we put it on the second one. And it just maybe not. Maybe it doesn't skip. Okay, see how we skip the first one and put it on the next ones? Okay, it's not snapping. Now we skip the next one, like we did in the first one, and I put it on the next one. Okay, so problem, this, this here one, this piece right here, this particular piece right here, works fine, and it spins around. So this is probably where the records are gonna go. And this one, this one right here, snaps into place, no problem. But the other one, does not do that. It goes over it and everything. You can press and everything, but it doesn't snap into place. So I'm gonna see if we can do it the other way. I'm thinking it's the part that's like a little bit messed up. Okay, so luckily, I think that this is gonna be his turntable and everything where he does his disco music, where he spins his records and he can spin these things around. But this here part here, this 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 one part. Now these parts are exactly the same, obviously not, because this particular part I would call it a defect because it's not working. It doesn't hold in the place. Don't glue these things. You might be able to hot glue it or something, but if you put like other kinds of glue in it, like crazy glue and stuff, it will melt your plastic. So you have to be careful on what kind of glue you'd be using for this. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So what's going to work is that this is the turntable and I think this is the table. So as long as it's sitting down, it's fine. But if we turn it over, right, it's, it's gonna fall out. So we're gonna do that part and that part's all together, somewhat, not, not totally, but it's somewhat together. Okay, now we got all our little knobbies and stuff we're going to have to put on the thing. We got your little green one here. Right there, is that the green one? Okay, we're gonna need our little green ones. We're gonna need our black ones, the gray ones, gray ones. Got a purple one here, there's your purple one. And there's your purple one. And your white one. Okay, so we got four of those little knobbies. So now we're gonna take the four little knobbies, each one of a different color, and we're going to put them on here. I don't know any particular order or whatever. Put that one in there. Put that one in there. And this one over here. So that's why you put spacers in it when you put the other doodads in it to begin with. 
you know, and the one that doesn't work because it doesn't stick. Because that just keeps, if you take it like this, it'll just fall out. But anyway, we're going to see if we can make this thing together here. Okay, so now that is the end of step four. So, turn on the page. Now we go to step five. Now, with step five, we do this again. We get all different colored little duties and we plot them all into the end of this thing. And that's all the duties we got left. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, it'd be nice with this piece here that is defective. Now, I don't think the whole thing is like totally wrong or anything. But this could be fun to put together. Not too hard to put together, actually. Like I said, the instructions are fairly well done and everything. My fingers are a little bit big. Okay. I'm going to get a five-year-old with smaller fingers to do this with. Now, they're all in together, and that's the end of number five and again and still won't stay in the place but it's in place anyway somewhat okay so I'm gonna put it on there like that we're gonna go to step six step six easy we need two turntables there's a turntable and one with an LP on it so a turntable and one with an LP on it so one's for scratching and the other one's for getting ready to scratch. And again with this one, you got like four little joints on e all of these things so that they stick onto the one that spins around. And this is where you want to put them. And hopefully, like that. Just like I managed to get it on. And then just turn around like this. You put this down here. And that is the end of step six. Now we're going to step seven. Oh, cool. Step seven, piece of cake. We need these two things. They look like L's, little L's. And then we're gonna take these and we're gonna pop those into one of those. So one on this side, I'm gonna put one here, hopefully. And I need a five-year-old for this. I need small hands. And there we go. It's all set up. That's number seven. Now, we we'll run out of that. And we got pieces left. Okay, so, and there's pieces left after we put everything together. Uh huh. Okay, this is your little headphones. It's got a little headphone thing on it. But unfortunately, I didn't drop it or anything and just don't have it. Now, we gotta take the mini note of the packaging. And a little turntable. Alrighty. So, these are supposed to be your imaginary speakers right there. Your imaginary friends. This is your minion. Okay, look at that right there. And it's playing this duty. And I'm going to set this one up over here. Maybe. I don't know. We could. I don't know. Try and then we take the minion and we pop on his headset probably goes right in the middle of his head there and just stick it right in there and the little minion goes his headset let's see what it looks like